What's going on, YouTube? Back here in the greenhouse again, looking at the lava rock aquaponic garden this time. As you can see, we got all kind of stuff going on in here. And uh, ha -ha, I'm so happy to say that in there, there I was going to show off the one. It was in this two inch pipe right there. And I kept thinking, why is that in a two inch pipe? Um, still swimming around in there uh, but I was thinking why is that one in the three in or the two inch pipe there uh, how the heck can it fit when it's that big well there's two in here and actually there might be three um, I'll show you in a couple minutes but uh, one of them has a messed up tail and if I'm correct in what I saw I don't know I'm gonna have to watch the video again maybe that will show me uh, definitely yes or no but it looked like there was uh, I don't know we'll go width wise it's swimming around in there uh, but there looked like there was one about like this wide which was in that two inch pipe right there and then it looked like there was one that was like that wide and then there was the big boy you'll notice the big boy he doesn't have a mark on him but I think the if I'm correct that there's two smaller ones I think both of them have a messed up tail and I think this whole time I've been mistaking them for each other so hopefully I'm right, and if I am, then that means I got three, I have three catfish in the uh, tank there. Over here, this bed is now turned on. I turned my uh, valve on over here just slightly, because uh, you remember last year we were getting a lot of condensation on the side of the uh, bed there, and it was uh, dripping and leaking water all out and everything. I don't know if it was leaking water. I don't think it was leaking. It wasn't leaking water out of the pipes anyway. I can say that much. If it was leaking out of the bed, that could be true. I don't know, maybe it cracked or something like that. But uh, it has been holding water. You can see my stand pipe in there. It's almost up to level, so that means this mint over here has been drinking a lot of water. Go ahead and put this back in there, keep the sunlight out. But uh, yeah, we got a bunch of mint all in here, a bunch of dead mint I still haven't gotten out of here. Um, yeah. But I keep making videos for you guys, like almost every day. Uh, but uh, anyway, over here, you see my cabbage. We've got all these little seed pods everywhere, all over the place. So, uh, hmm, oh, wait. Okay, yeah, late, that's right, okay. Yeah, maybe this will play out. Yeah, so, yeah, so all these seed pods over here, uh, they are for cabbage. And uh, I'm hoping they're going to be awesome, viable seeds, so maybe we'll have to do a seed giveaway once all these seeds, uh, you know, I'll check them out and make sure they're viable and stuff like that. We'll have to do another uh, seed giveaway on the second year cabbage. That's what that stuff is coming out of that bed over there. Uh, I already talked about the fish. You want to see them? Okay, guy in the back there says he wants to see the fish, so we'll uh, pause looking at the stuff in the bed here. Let's go look at those fishes. Buddy, there. Oh, there, we go. there he is. Look at that behemoth. Holy cow. Confirms it. There's two. There's one with a messed up tail. And that guy. Jeez, oh man, that guy's huge. The size of that thing. I was going to say. Remember I saw that one in the two inch pipe, I was thinking there's no way that big guy would fit in there. That makes it more uh, sense there. There's two. Look at the size. Wow. The one's half the size of the other guy. Come on, little guy. Get some food. You can tell the little guy because you can see the messed up tail going. Size of that guy. All right, little guy's getting some food too. Sweet. All righty, we're back. <laughs> some cute little fishes, huh? Anyway, um, here we are in this bed over here, and here we have that thing. I'm not sure what the heck that is. But over here, if you look, check it out. We've got all kind of new growth popping off on the strawberries there. Look at that. Got a strawberry 
Looks like a strawberry starting to pop off right there. There's more right over here. Look at that guy. Looking beautiful. This is like wave two, I believe, of the spring slash summer. Um, right over here, this guy. I mean, look at that thing. Okay, I'm pretty sure everybody was correct, and that's bok choy. But uh, I don't. I didn't have Chinese cabbage seeds, but it could be that. But it looks just around in that family. So actually, it has a bunch of holes in it. I got it. All kind of stuff. Maybe it's those daggone grasshoppers and stuff getting over here. Oops. Hmm. All right, let's move on. I delayed this video as long as I could. I was ready to go way early, and I uh, couldn't come out here and do it because it was thunderstorming really, really bad. Um, right underneath the bok choy, we've got a uh, Malabar. It just popped right up. We've got another baby little Malabar. Look at that. It didn't even shed the seed yet. Popping right up. A bunch of other ones. Another new one right over there. Popping up. They just keep popping up. I love these guys. Another one right over here. Right over here. Check it out. A pea. I love peas. I can't wait for this year's peas to start taking off. Uh, already uh, tried with some peas and they did not really work out. Here's another one right back here. Looking awesome. We've got another Malabar. Look at the Ma or, uh, Indigo. Growing up nice and tall. What a pretty little girl. Um, the patch of Malabar. Look at that, man. Just a ton of them. I don't want to count them because I'm going to be disappointed. I'll, I'll think that there's way more than there really are. Got another Malabar over here. Another Malabar over here. Malabar. Some weird weed growing in the background there. Another Indigo Rose. Look at that baby. A mosquito biting me. I've got another Indigo Rose. This little tiny little guy's an Indigo. I've got a patch of Malabar all over the place there. Another one right over here. This big old guy is my lettuce. Look how tall that guy is. It's uh, It does not look like it's about to bolt. Which is very weird. Usually they get tall like this when they're about to bolt. But that is quite a, an amount of lettuce right there. For some reason, I imagine that stuff is going to taste bitter. Um, I guess because it's probably bolting. It just hasn't shown yet. I don't believe I ripped off the top last week. No, I didn't. No, I think it's just if there we go. If it'll focus right there in front of my index finger. It is just starting to bolt. So there's our answer. Broccoli. Check out that guy. Flowering. We've got a bunch of seed pods on this guy too. So maybe we'll have to do a broccoli cabbage uh, seed giveaway. And uh, don't have a lot, but there's a bunch of those little seed pods all over. My onion. Look at the size of this onion, man. This is so great. But how many years have I been growing this thing? Like four? Um, that's what it feels like anyway. But it still hasn't bulbed. But uh, look at that trunk on this thing, man. Gigantic. And I leave marks on it every time I touch it. But beautiful fan on this thing. Looking nice. Um, what the heck is this guy? I don't even remember. Is this another broccoli? I believe so. Or is this a bok choy? Might be another bok choy right here. And then a sea of Malabar everywhere, and they're just starting to take off. Look at that guy. Yeah, they're going to be getting big real quick. Uh, did I forget anybody? No. All right, let's move on over to this bed. Look at the size of this freaking indigo rose. Love these tomatoes. They're one of my favorite uh, to grow, um, mainly because it's kind of like a patience game. Because these things, you do not get good tomatoes until they are ripe. And they take forever to ripen. But uh, once they start, whew, man, it's a fun time. Um, right underneath it, hey, got a pea. Yeah, one of many in this bed. Starting it off great. Another pea right here. Got two cucumbers. Another pea right over here. And the cucumbers might be uh, okra. I looked at uh, some okra at the store today, and I'm pretty sure these are cucumbers, not okra, um, just based on the leaves. But uh, I do have okra, and it's going to be coming up very shortly. Actually, I think that's okra right there and right there. Uh, maybe those are just cucumbers. Anyway, they're plants. Here's another pea right over here. Malabar all throughout. Over here, brand new one just popping up out of the slime. 
Uh, another one over here with one leaf, but it has true leaves in there. A couple more over here. Another one popping out of the slime. You can see the root structure right down there. Very neat. Um, who else do I have? Look, Malabar under here. I mean, they're over here. They're everywhere. All over here. All throughout there. <laughs> There's just Malabar everywhere. Um, got another little pea over here. Another little pea over here. Another indigo right down here, looking nice. Like I said, not sure what that is. Hoping that's okra, but I think it's cucumber. Um, ba -ba -ba. I've got another indigo right over here. Another indigo right over here. Another two right here. And one way back here. I'm stretching right now. Got a brand new cabbage just starting to pop up off the uh, stalk of the old cabbage. So that's pretty cool. Um, am I missing anybody over there? There's a lot of junk over there. I can see that much. Can't see if anything's growing through the junk, so maybe not. But, uh, yeah, that's a quite a number of plants all in one little bed here, and that's what I always try to do with aquaponics is plant stuff really close together. Obviously, I didn't plant any of these Malabar here. Otherwise, I would have at least spaced them out throughout the entire bed. But, uh... I'm not going to pull any of them. I'm just going to let them do their thing because with aquaponics, they should not have to uh, fight for nutrients because the nutrients is in the water, which is in the bed, and then it just does the flood and drain type thing. And there's really no reason for it to, um, you know, have to fight for it. That being said, overcrowding is overcrowding. So, <laughs> who knows? These things could all start dying off in a uh, matter of days for all I know. Anyway, yeah, look at the bright side. Um, like I said, I got a bunch of cabbage all over here. That was all leaning over I showed you at the beginning. Then I have... Why am I missing so many freaking cups over here? I like to keep the cups full of rocks and in here in case I need to, you know, do anything. Plus, it keeps the sunlight out of the beds. I don't understand why I'm missing so many. This one doesn't even have rocks in it. Man, I'm slacking. Um, at least do this cup idea right here where it's blocking out the sun. Anyway, I got, uh, yeah, they, they look, over here. Um, here's a nice little uh, new cabbage plant. Got lightning coming and thunder and all that stuff. Well, lightning already came. Here's a nice new little cabbage plant popping right out here at the base of this beautiful, I say that every week, beautiful looking cabbage. Look at that thing. So symmetrical and everything, looking awesome. Little mint here just growing out of this one little cup. Got the rain coming in. Got this five-headed monster here. I shouldn't say monster. It's pretty. But um, yeah, it's it was flowering. So either it's starting to die off here, or it's about to start to uh, go to seed, like uh, these guys right over here. And I wasn't kidding about how many little seed pods are all over this thing. Um, what is that? One, two. That's a five-headed or a one, two, three, four. That is a five-headed plant. And a, another one, or maybe it's a five-headed plant, too. But we've got a whole pile of these seed pods. So we're probably going to have to do a giveaway. That way I can get rid of all these seeds. I've got some more mint tucked in here, hidden away. And then this giant guy right here does not appear to be bolting. It appears to be heading to be heading to heading up. To forming a head. This guy is making cabbage happen. That's what it's doing. Um, not exactly sure what's going on there, but that sure looks like a freaking head to me. So, uh, with the how tall it is, and it goes all the way down to here. So it goes all the way up and around, all the way up to here. I really thought it was going to bolt, but it's trying to put on cabbage. So, heck yeah, maybe we can make some uh, coleslaw. That would be awesome. Oh, and uh, there seems to be, right over here, there's one right there, and here's another one that's flowering uh, extra cabbages popping off off the stalks. That's pretty cool. Okay, so they can do that. All right, that gives me a bunch of ideas, man. Maybe uh, we can get them to do, you know, extra little heads while they're flowering. Will that work? Uh, they should be putting all their energy into the flowering, not the little guy, right? Yeah, that's probably it. Anyway, yeah, we'll explore that idea later. So make sure, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. That we can come back, check out what other kind of aquaponics stuff we have growing on around here. And uh, 
Yeah, I'd do it for the catfish. They're cute. They're gigantic. That one is. Jeez, oh man. But anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out with me, checking out what I've got growing on here in the Lava Rock Aquaponic Garden. Do these videos every Thursday. Then we come back over here on Tuesdays. We do the hot, uh, hot tub aquaponic garden. Then we go inside and to the indoor grow room for the super hots, uh, which are growing indoors still at need to be moved outside, but that will happen at a later time, and I'll probably put a video out about that, so then you can check that out. In the meantime, I've been doing stuff with my truck, so don't forget to check out those videos if that interests you, and if it does, and you like it, throw me a thumbs up down below in any of those videos. Check out all my past videos. Got a whole pile of videos. Uh, something will strike your fancy, and uh, don't forget to do all that fun, happy social media stuff down below. And I will catch y'all in the next video. So, let me see. Ah, before I go, let me throw a couple shout-outs out there. And that's, uh, if you like aquaponics, we're doing aquaponics right here. It's an aquaponic update. Um, if you like this, go check out my buddy across the pond. Um, he's over there, uh, bathtub, green, or greenhouse, back, <laughs> greenhouse, bathtub, aquaponics. Uh, check that guy out. He is great. I love his videos. And while we're across the pond there, don't forget to check out 50 uh, Shades of Green. That guy's great. I've been loving his stuff. Uh, even though I don't get the comment all the time, but I am watching, throwing thumbs up and all that stuff. Here comes another thunderstorm. All right. And that'll be enough for me right now. <laughs> I'm going to go enjoy this rain. And I just noticed that right there... I have a hole in the daggone greenhouse. That sucks. Now I gotta fix that. Alright, well that's enough from me now. I gotta go do stuff in the rain. So, I'll catch you next time. Like I said, don't forget to do all that fun, happy social media stuff down below. I uh, will catch y'all in the next video. Till then. Later.